There's this joke on the internet that any crime leveraged against a League of Legends player is justified. League of Legends is a point-and-click adventure game where you have to solve the mystery of who's ruining this match. You're the protagonist, so we know you're safe. Each team has a nexus point in their respective corner of the map, each with a wave of three towers protecting it. Then, finally the nexus, protected by two turrets. If that shatters, the game ends, and you pop off and go, IT WAS YOU, JUNGLE! The game is a 5v5 with several different characters to play, over 150 of them to be exact, and the meta is always the newest one, so it's not too complicated. There's five distinct roles that you will corral yourself into. You can do top lane, where you're the most isolated and likely to enjoy 1v1s with the same guy for a while, mid lane, which is the smallest, bottom lane, where you have a bottom for your bottom to back you up, and jungle, whose goal is to invade other lanes and help win individual fights. Each one is protected by a line of three turrets that must be shattered by minions. Minions are little smellas that spawn from your nexus point in constant waves and take the turret shots in your stead. Fighting in League of Legends is a practice of using your character's kit appropriately while managing distance and the state of the game itself. I have nightmares often. Did you know your brain is terrible at recording thoughts late at night? They say it's so we don't confuse our dreams with real memories. I often forget the thoughts that caused it, but I can feel a bruise in the proverbial back of my head, as if some boxing match had just happened and I simply traded places with the loser. I wonder what the winner is doing. Some characters have traps to take down enemies, others can move faster to escape danger, or a status effect that blinds enemies. Every kill nets gold. These can be spent on items that scale and make you stronger and stronger. What makes League so infamously welcoming is that if you go on a killing spree, you can still lose because one of the other lanes turned their opponent into a fucking juggernaut, blowing you to pieces on sight with no other solution than don't be there. What makes it special is that sometimes that's you, dude, as people die to your nonsense over and over, only to pop off and greet you at the end. Oh, I hope you die of fentanyl poisoning. <laughs> You should also be thinking about the jungler a lot. If at the wrong place in time, there's a chance he jumps in and kills you. Thankfully, my favorite character has some built-in defenses because... You think Spike Spiegel would have played League of Legends? Side objectives that spawn near bottom and top, and then a dragon that spawns for a top and bottom. If your team manages to kill these, you'll incur stat buffs or summon a giant rampaging bull bug thing to crash a lane. These exist so the enemy team can't just focus on defense in the late game. Once the lanes are cracked open, everyone will flood out like ants. You're not mid anymore, you're on Nexus Patrol which would have resulted in World War II trench warfare if not for these dragons. Then again, the game might not even get that far. League has a surrender feature because games can last upwards of 40 minutes. A domino can fall in the early game and it might be over after that. Their top laner could have chewed on your gangplank enough to enact total genocide and you'll only notice when they step down from their perch. Or they banned someone's favorite character and that guy is about to kick his chair over. <laughs> As the brain thrashes with every mistake it's made, and twists them with that strange flavor of fiction that only the part of you that isn't a part of you can write. League also has a sweeping host of other game modes, like ARAM which condenses it all into one lane, resulting in bloody free-for-alls, and a war over the handful of health packs. Or TFT, and my head hurt a little harder than usual when I said that. In my mind, League is best enjoyed casually, or standing on top of a chair for no real reason. I enjoy that feeling of mastery over a character. I forget his name, but this little fella right here is perfect. He can be a bruiser in top lane, fortify himself in the mid lane, lay traps as a jungler, scale up in bottom lane, or help his team with his perfect attitude and support. If you really want to win though, you need to buy items that specifically counter the enemy team. Mo. Teemo. Huh. Teemo. Oh my god, I stopped the game. I can't feel this way anymore. I left them in that lobby. They'll be in there for the next 40 minutes, but that's nothing compared to the eternity I will spend in hell alongside the DC penalty. I have to keep going anywhere but near that fucking computer. I don't care if there's a man with a gun at the end of this trail. Just as long as I can find the green gold. I found it. Grass. It's crab grass. It feels cold. Unhappy in my grasp. I guess I don't deserve to touch real grass.
But I could hide a mushroom in it. My computer broke. Happy April Fools. When the pain goes away, I will make a real video. Thank you.